You're listening to Monday's Encounter, Serbian radio program on CKCU in Ottawa. Bojan Bosic is a regular contributor to Monday's Encounter whenever there is something new in the film business. This year, Bojan Bosic, film critic and author of six books about the movies, was not only a guest of honor at the 2011 Genie Awards, but he also published his book on the 30 years of Ginny, the Canadian Oscars. The book is called Those Beautiful Dreamers, published in Serbian and carries the title Tidimni Sanyari. We caught up with Bojan Bosicic after his return from the Ginny 2011 award presentations that took place in Toronto. And here is what Bojan had to say. Mr. Bosic, welcome to Monday's Encounter Serbian Radio Program. Oh, good evening uh, to the listeners of the Serbian Radio in Ottawa and to you, Boba, and uh, thank you for having me in your show. Oh, it, it is really my pleasure. This year, as, as many years before, you covered the 32nd Journey Award in Toronto. Who was the biggest winner at the evening? Yeah. Uh, well, uh, from the agony to the ecstasy in just uh, 11 days. That was a roller coaster ride and an exciting journey from Hollywood to Toronto for Montreal filmmaker Philippe Fallardeau and his Monsieur Lazar. After losing out the award uh, for the best uh, foreign film at the 84th Oscars on March 26, Fallardeau and his school teacher triumphed at the 32nd Gini Awards held in Toronto's uh, luxurious Westin Harbour Castle Hotel on March 8. <laughs> it was a big night for the poignant uh, Quebec uh, classroom drama Monsieur Lazare, which won six genies for the best film, best direction, best adaptive screenplay, best actor, best supporting actors, and the best editing. I wrote a speech two weeks ago and didn't have the chance to give it, said the uh, double winner Falardeau, who was, as usual, articulate and funny, calling his losing night at the Hollywood Oscars a good uh, general rehearsal for the genies. <laughs> the triumph at the genies was a climax of a long season of glory for Falardeau's excellent film about an immigrant teacher grappling with the personal issues who is seeking to help Montreal grade schoolers left shocked by tragedy. Cinema is like the memory and imagination of a country. Without that, a country would not be a nation, said Philippe Pallardot, who had a message of encouragement for young filmmakers uh, hoping to follow his footsteps. Be persistent, be wild, be bold, take risks, and something is bound to happen. Eleven years old, Sophie Nellis won as Best uh, Supporting Actress, becoming the youngest winner of a Genie Award. It was like playing uh, with my friends, she said uh, backstage of her experience of making uh, Monsieur Lazare. So, uh, next to Monsieur Lazare, which other films did get uh, Canadian Oscars or Genie? Uh, right behind Monsieur Lazare, uh, with five Genie Awards, was a psychodrama a Dangerous Method by most eminent Canadian filmmaker David Cronenberg from Toronto. That helped to balance out the English-French dynamic in this year's Gini results. The two films illustrate the strengths of both the French and English sides of Canada's filmmaking community, which is not always on display at the Genies, often a francophone-dominated event in the, ten, in the past ten years. Cronenberg's uh, film about the birth of the modern psychoanalysis and the clash of the two minds, Sigmund Freud and Carl Jung, Won statuettes for Best Supporting Actor, Art Direction, Original Music, Overall Sound, and Sound Editing. In spite of the fact uh, that he didn't uh, win any award that, na that night, uh, David Cronenberg was in good spirits. Accepting the Best Original Score Award for an absent Howard Shore, his friend and a frequent uh, collaborator, he joked, Howard is in New Zealand working on the film The Hobbit. It's kind of a sequel to a dangerous method, said Cronenberg, 
uh, previous nine-time winner of the Gini Awards. Mm. Hollywood star Viggo Mortensen was in the spotlight and received the biggest uh, media attention. Mm. After winning the Best Supporting Actor prize, Mortensen thanked Cronenberg for taking chance on him, even though the two have worked together several times in the past. I don't think any other director would have thought of me as Sigmund Freud, uh, said Mortensen. Mm. Before leaving the stage, Mortensen remarked that the genie statuette was a very beautiful trophy, and in order to cross the border safely, I have to wrap it very carefully. Mm -hmm. He then unfurled a Montreal Canadiens banner and uh, dedicated the award to his beloved hockey team. Mm -hmm. Ken Scott's French-language series comedy Starbuck about a sperm donor who learns he's fathered 533 children, won the genies for the best original screenplay and original song, and was the recipient of the special Cineplex Golden Reel Award as the highest grossing Canadian film in 2011, with $3.5 million earned at the domestic box office. Mm -hmm. Director and co-writer Scott said that his film is about to become a Hollywood remake. Finally, the special Claude Joutra Award, presented to a first-time director, went to a young filmmaker, Anne Emon, for her contemporary urban drama, Nuit Numero Un, about the lost uh, generation in Quebec. Mm -hmm. And who was the most disappointed uh, uh, on that evening? Well, uh, heading into the ceremony, the front runner was uh, Café de Flore, a complex art drama by Montreal filmmaker Jean-Marc Vallée with 13 nominations, huh? winning only three awards for Best Makeup, Visual Effects and Best Actors, which went to Vanessa Paradis, who was absent from the ceremony, the same as the Best Actor winner of Pelag, an Algerian-born artist. Mm -hmm. So, uh, what was your impression of the uh, 32nd Genie Awards? Uh, as a veteran of the Genie Awards ceremonies since 1996, I wish to say that the 32nd edition was the best show i ever been to. All that glamour, excitement, fun, elegance, music, and figure skating, really unforgettable. This should be the model for every Genie show in the future. So I dare to say, who needs Oscars anymore? <laughs> Canadian cinema rules and uh, Hollywood North shines. The organization of the media room was just perfect. I never seen before so many journalists covering this event. Uh, the media room was packed. <laughs> Madame uh, Susan Aisgo, newly appointed director of communications of, of the Academy of Canadian Film and Television, brought a significant uh, change to the genies often a sleepy uh, celebration in the past. This was a huge, huge step forward. <laughs> the host of the show, Mr. George Strombolopoulos, injected the energy, the enthusiasm, and the fun genies desperately needed. Broadcasted live on CBC, this was the best genie show i ever seen so far. Mm -hmm. There are so many great Canadian movies and talented filmmakers, and it is about time to be finally recognized and appreciated by domestic audience. It in 10, 15 years from now, Canadian movies will start to win regularly at the Hollywood Oscars, said a charismatic Strombo, who invited me to be a guest of his popular TV show on CBC as soon as, soon as my book is published in English. Mm -hmm. His passionate speech about the rise of Canadian cinema encouraged me that I'm not the only true believer in the Hollywood, uh, Hollywood North. <laughs> Indeed, uh, you just published really your your book, The um, Dimmi Sagnari, about the 30 years of the Genie Awards. Do you have a chance to, to present your book, uh, The Genies? Yes, uh, as some kind of an appreciation for my work. I was invited by the Academy of Canadian Cinema and Television to three gala receptions held before and after the official ceremony and it gave me an opportunity to talk to the most renowned Canadian filmmakers. Mm. My book, uh, Ti Divni Sanyari, about the 30 years of the genies, written in Serbian, received big attention at the 32nd Genie Awards. Uh, Canadian uh, filmmakers, uh, uh, among others, uh, David Cronenberg, Philippe Falardeau, Ken Scott, Jean-Marc Vallée, to whom I presented my book, showed the great interest and expressed their appreciation with the same common vision that the book should be translated and published in English. 
before the presentation of my book, The Beautiful Dreamers, or Le Beau Rever uh, in, in French, at Srubica Books in Toronto on March 7, uh, Madame Maria uh, Topalovic, the former longtime president and the CEO of the Academy of Canadian Cinema and Television, sent me an email with very nice words. Hmm. Uh, Dear Boyan, I'm so s very sorry that I can join you at your book launch uh, to celebrate the publication of The Beautiful Dreamers, a true labor of love and your latest and most wonderful literary achievement. But I send you my most sincere congratulations for this outstanding tribute to the Genie Awards, as well as my heartfelt thanks and appreciation for your long-standing uh, uh, support and passion for Canadian cinema. Mm -hmm. It was a pleasure working with you over the, these many years. Hvala lepo Boyan. Well, that's great. Uh, also, I'm delighted to say that uh, on the occasion of the 32nd Genie Awards, there was a display at the Alta Vista branch of the Ottawa Public Library with an article about me and my book, The Beautiful Dreamers, uh, written by Jay Scott uh, in the Ottawa Citizen, accompanied by various books on Canadian cinema. Yes, and indeed you are very passionate about uh, movies, but also about Canadian movies. And that's, that is a great uh, achievement. The book is really a great achievement. And I, I, I hope uh, that the book will be p uh, published in English very soon. Thank you soon. very much, Boba, for your nice words and your, your wishes. I hope so. <laughs> the same. Yeah, well, um, until then, I thank you very much for taking part in our show and uh, for being our guest. Oh, it was a big pleasure to be a guest of your show, Boba, and thank you very much for everything. Oh. As the French say, bon cinéma. Oh, merci. <laughs> thank you, Boyan. Hvala. And that was the interview with Boyan Bosicic, author of the book, Those Beautiful Dreamers, about 30 years of Canadian Oscars, the genie.